Hello, we're back. In episode one, I said we would be talking about the Invader port to the Pi Gamer, a hobby handheld gaming device from Adafruit and DigiKey Electronics. I purchased mine from Adafruit along with the acrylic enclosure you see here. They have tons of documentation and tutorials for getting up and running on their website. This device is unique in that it can be programmed in several different ways. You can use CircuitPython with Adafruit Stage Game Library. I use the Thani IDE for this, shown here, or C++ with the Arduino IDE to program it in Arduboy or Gameduino Meta emulation modes. Adafruit even has an NES emulator for it. You can even program it with Microsoft's Visual Programming Web IDE called MakeCode Arcade. MakeCode Arcade is a very robust, fun to use IDE with tons of demos and tutorials to get you started. And what really makes this cool is you can also use JavaScript or Python, or even convert your visual programs to those languages helping you to take the step to more sophisticated text-based programming. So as you can see here, this is Python. We can also convert it to JavaScript, but the main code was written in blocks. So this is the visual programming version of the program. Also, you can click on this button here and you can see the assets. There's my, my art assets for, for the game as well. The Pi Gamer also has a sister device called the Pi Badge, the predecessor to the Pi Gamer with slightly lesser specs and without the joystick using four buttons instead. But just as easy and fun to program using all the same tools, both of these devices also have a row of NeoPixels under the screen that can be programmed as well for some physical computing, or they can be part of your game as you'll see in a moment. Also, on the physical computing aspect of these devices, they have GPIO access on the back for connecting sensors and other devices. I'll leave links so you can check them out later. Okay, so let's take a look at the Pi Gamer and the Pi Badge running the Make Code arcade version of Invader. The first thing you'll notice is that the lives and score. Here, let's turn this on. Are made up using some included functionality of Make Code Arcade. Also, the game over screen and effects are built in. You can overwrite this stuff and create your own versions of these elements. They're just provided for a beginner to get started. And there you can see us using the NeoPixels. And here it is running on the Pi Badge as well. So there it is, the Make Code Arcade versions running on both the Pi Gamer and the Pi Badge. I also wanted to show that there's quite a few hardware devices that are supported by Make Code Arcade. I, I have a, a brain pad, the Pi Badge, the Pi Gamer. Um, I also have an Ovatron. Xtron Pro as well, but you can see there's you know there's several devices that are supported here. Okay, now we'll look at the stage library version that I wrote in CircuitPython using the stage library in Thani. This is what the code looks like here. Now we'll take a look at the actual game running on on the hardware. Yeah. 
and there you have it. Okay, now as a bonus, I'm going to show the Pi Gamer running in both Arty Boy emulation and a Game Buino emulation, respectively. I thought I would share a view of the document that I'm using as a guide to create these videos. Spoiler, I've already created over 30 versions of my Invader game demo before deciding to do a video journey of them. You can see I've listed them by date. I'm showing the target platform, the language they're programmed in, and the IDE and libraries if possible. Notice the multiple devices here. They were all created in Make Code Arcade. You've seen a couple of these in this episode, but I'll show you the rest later. I own the Pi Gamer, a Brain Pad, an Xtron Pro, a Pi Badge, but I have yet to build up my Feather and Itsy Bitsy M4 Expresses um, onto a breadboard in order to make them or to use them to play Make Code Arcade games as well. Also further on down the list is a section that is coming up. I'm currently working on VIC-20 basic and assembly versions, which are proving to be pretty challenging. Then I want to create Invader using Godot. The Unreal version is sort of on hold as it's been really boring learning to use Unreal. Then at the bottom of the page, I have a living list of maybe later items that if I get enough followers and interest, we can vote to see which ones I try to do in the future. So that about wraps up episode two of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader for the actual Arty Boy. It's another handheld device based on Arduino and targeted to hobbyist game programmers. It's programmed in C++ using the Arduino IDE. Until then, bye, and I'll talk to you next time.